<laughs> Brothers and sisters, this is Jimmy. <laughs> hey, the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. We're looking at verses 9 and 10. And it reads, But as it is written, Eyes hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of men the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Our brother is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I remember when I was part of this cult called the Church of Christ. I remember a certain individual going before the people and was talking about uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, and a part where uh, the Apostle Paul talked about the, a thorn in his flesh. And then this certain individual went on to talk about how, you know, no one really knows what uh, the, the thorn in the flesh is. No one's really clear about that because, you know, the Bible says that eyes have not seen, ears not heard. So, you know, people are making speculations, but no one really knows what the thorn of the flesh is. If we turn our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 64, where we see the Apostle Paul quotes Isaiah, who was an Old Testament gospel grace preacher, in Isaiah chapter 64, verse 4, where Isaiah, an Old Testament gospel grace preacher, an Old Testament gospel grace believer, says in Isaiah chapter 64, verse 4, For since the beginning of the world, man hath not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen, O God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. And so, the, 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 the Isaiah an Old Testament gospel grace preacher, Old Testament gospel grace believer, he's actually just talking about with, with, the, with the people of God that things were previously unknown and there were things that wasn't really clearly understood when it comes to God. And and, and even when, when you know, the, the day before salvation, there were things to, to a believer that was previously um, unknown and there was things that wasn't clearly understood to the believer. But remember, my brothers and sisters, so much more in 2024. Deep truth, simple, everyday, everything example where we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12, the Apostle Paul writes, this is the time of our rejoicing. This is the testimony of our conscience with simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshy wisdom, but the grace of God. And we receive the conversation grace to grace, mercy to mercy. And so when we see the Apostle Paul quoting Isaiah, an Old Testament gospel grace preacher, Old Testament gospel grace believer, in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ear have heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. And, and we see in 1 John chapter 4, it, it says, the Apostle John, a gospel grace believer, a gospel grace preacher, says that we love him because he first agape loved us. And, and, and so... What was this? Verse 10, it says, But God hmm, hath revealed them unto us, a believer of our Lord and Savior, and soon come King Jesus Christ, by his Spirit. And so so he, 
God is you, 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 to those who, again, are saved. And we see in another letter, the Apostle Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2, Behold, now is the day of salvation. And so when you're saved, believe of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you can lay hold on 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Behold, this is the day of salvation. This is the day of salvation. All day, every day. And, 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 and what's this? God hath revealed unto us, believers of our Lord and Savior, his spirit. This, this is talking about spiritual enlightenment. This is talking about spiritual encouragement. This is talking about spiritual empowerment. This is talking about spiritual edif edification. This is talking about spiritual uh, equipment. He's, 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 do he's doing that. He's revealing. Because, because behold, the day is of, of our salvation. Our spiritual eyes are being opened up to 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 the insights, to the ideas, to the concepts, to the revelation of Abba Father, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the finished work, what he did on the cross, the, the, the his agape love, the his forgiveness of all of our sins, past, present, and future, his mercy, uh, the, the things of God. He goes on to say this, and the spirit and for the Holy Spirit of God search of all things. And all things it, it, it includes everything and excludes nothing. Yay! <laughs> ah, the deep things of God. And so th th this 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 spiritual enlightenment, spiritual equipment, spiritual uh, empowerment, spiritual edification, the, the spiritual uh, 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 um, encouragement. Is not just a, a one-time event. It is it, it is it is it is an ongoing. Uh, 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 it, it's 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 ongoing phenomenon to those who Second Corinthians chapter six verse two, day of our salvation is being revealed. The deep things of God. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord stay shot upon you. May the Lord lift up his costume. May the Lord give you speech. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build drop an arrogant to those who sanctify. In the precious name of his son, our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, save me. And not to him that is able to keep you from all. In the presence of his glory, both glory. Majesty, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm looking for Jimmy so he can do a praise the Lord dance with me. <laughs> and oh, by the way, <laughs> the, 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 the answer to the thorn of the flesh, the thorn of the flesh is nothing more than a false gospel preacher who don't preach no grace and who don't believe in no grace. <laughs> Oh, yeah.